The presence of this festival can be dated back to the early years of the Mahabharat. Several scholars can vouch for the mention of Makar Sankranti or Magh in the famous epics of Mahabharat. During this time of the year, Pongal is celebrated in South India. It also marks the beginning of the harvest season for the South Indians. However, due to different crop yield patterns and ancestral lineages, the celebration is different from the North Indian Makar Sankranti. The two festivals bear semblance but are vastly different from one another. The devotees of sun god and the river goddess being, begin their day with a Surya Namaskar and take dip in the cold water of the Ganga. The dip are taken by ardent devotees to wash off the sins that they might have committed in their lives. In Gujarat, Makar Sankranti is called Uttarayan. It brings the end of the winter solstice and celebrates the ending the longest night in the months of winter. Kites are flown in various parts of Gujarat and people revel in diverse festivities across the state. The month of Makar Sankranti is also called Pos in the lunar calendar. It is named Dhanu in the solar calendar. Bengalis abide by the lunar calendar and have month-long celebration called post Sankranti. This festival celebrates the first harvest or the first rice that is harvested. A first crop is a common place of celebration across the country. It may have several names, but the spirit of the festival remains the same. Thank you. Happy Makar Sankranti.